Am I about to do something I might regret? Yep. Do I care? Oh, is the camera not fuck? Hello, it's not focusing. Good. And this is exactly why I don't use this lens. Oh, my brain! So I've been, I got this about a year and a half ago, saying I was gonna do a stick and poke, and I never got to it because I was just scared about like, what if I mess up? What if it doesn't come out right? Like it's permanent, but then I realized like I really don't care. I already got a tattoo that's not perfect, and I like really. <laughs> it's gonna be a tutorial because I've seen so many tutorials, but like. They're not, they're just not what I wanted to see. So I'm gonna try to make it more simpler because a lot of them were either really long or really short and didn't like give the good details. I don't know, I don't know. But here's my tutorial, even though I've never done one before. Probably shouldn't listen to me. I get that this isn't safe. I understand that I'm really risking like getting an infection, but that's how it is. <laughs> the first things you're gonna need, oh, it's not focusing. The rubbing of alcohol, the ink of the India, the sill of the pen, the dull of the knee, and the ink of the stir. That's a nicer look. <laughs> Don't forget your tech deck and your lucky gnome. So you wanna wash the area, oh you can see me, ha! Cool, so you get rubbing alcohol, cool, cool, cool. Clean the area. Grab a lighter, sterilize that shit. Yeah. So next you wanna take your pen sill. <laughs> Take a pencil, you line it up with the needle, and then get the string and wrap it around. You want to like line it up like, uh, it doesn't have to be that long actually, like about there, and then just wrap the string around it. Since it's kind of hard to wrap with string, I'm gonna recommend taping it around first, and then you'll see why you need string. So you just wrap, wrap, and then you want to get to the needle and wrap a lot all the way up to the top but not all the way up to the top. Cause I think the purpose of this, oh fuck, <laughs> is so it can hold the ink, but I don't get it because you still either way are gonna have to poke and like refill like every three times. I did not do the best job making this look nice, but it should basically look like that. It should have a little bit of like a little space left with like no string, if that makes any sense. If you can see that, I'll zoom in. I'm gonna be drawing a little heart on my foot, but now it's time to go. So you want to pour your ink into a thing. Oh, okay. So what if, from what I've seen and heard, you don't want to poke it straight, like up and down. You want to poke it like at a, like a slight angle. From what I've seen, I may be wrong, but that's just what I've seen and it kind of makes sense to me. Um, and you also don't want to go too deep to where you're bleeding. It's better to go not so deep than to go too deep and just like have to refill or refill, um, like repoke it, retattoo. I don't know. Um, but people say like you should hear a pop or like feel a pop. And you, like, it should be like, I don't know how to explain it. You should like, yeah, like a little pop. Oh, I just felt it, what the heck? Oh, okay, yeah, you wanna, you'll, you'll, you'll hear the pop. Like it's the breaking up the skin, so I don't know. But you'll hear the pop and that's how deep you wanna go, I think, I don't know. Um, sorry to those professional tattoo artists that are like, don't do this, um, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so one of the main reasons why that fell was because of my tripod. Um, so I'm just not gonna film it and I'll show you afterwards because I'm not risking that again. <laughs> cool. Okay, so basically it's not completely done because I will go over it after a week or two. So I'm gonna let it heal. <laughs> um, so what you wanna do when you're done is apparently it says put like some ointment on it, so like Neosporin and then a bandage over it. And then after like a couple hours, you wanna wash it, like two to six hours. So, but you wanna put rubbing alcohol or distilled water solution on it. Like, just to like make it clean, I think, I don't know. So I think those are all the things. If I miss anything, I will add it in with words or put it in the description. Okay, I lied. It wasn't as nice as it looked. After I put a little rubbing alcohol, it wasn't as bold, but I'm done with it now because I'm just going to let it heal first and then I'll go over it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, please be safe. If you're going to do this, look up a hundred things before even following my tutorial. Anyways, freaking love you guys. Thank you. Please um, be careful. <laughs> Just be careful with this stuff. Mom! Yeah.